It's unfair. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. So for those who don't know, the Solo A Star Wars Story premiere was yesterday. And on Twitter, the critics that Disney invited out to see the film have gone to give their spoiler-free opinions on it. Now, before I read these, let me just mention that these aren't us regular fans giving our take on it. These are basically like The Last Jedi press critiques, which, as we saw, had a vast difference between the fan ratings, so keep that in mind as I read these and take them with a grain of sand, if you will. You know what I mean. Until we actually get to see the movie in about two weeks for ourselves. So, one tweet says, It takes a bit for it to find its feet, and for Alden to turn on enough charm to make you forget that he's not Harrison Ford. But once it kicks into its, hey, let's make a crew, and yes, also do a heist stuff, it totally flies. Steven says, I figured if Disney Studios was willing to show Solo, a Star Wars story, a few weeks before release, it must be good, and it absolutely is. The film is a blast and a welcome addition to the Star Wars universe. Real Ron Howard, you did a great job. This is the grungiest, most grunt-level blue-collar Star Wars ever, and I am here for it. Alden Ehrenreich is the real deal. Thandie Newton is who I want to be when I grow up, and Phoebe Waller bridges L3. Well, we'll talk about that later. Solo, a Star Wars story is a goddamn delight. It's a non-stop adventure packed with way more emotion than you are expecting. You'll have a smile on your face the whole time and leave eager for more. Boom! Solo, a Star Wars story. Loved it. Stay off the internet. Avoid spoilers. Great job, real Ron Howard and cast. It's really good. Fun as hell. It's a straight intergalactic heist movie. Kind of refreshing to see a Star Wars movie without Death Star or the Rebellion's fate at stake. Alden is super impressive as Han, but L3 might be my favorite new character. Got out of Solo, a Star Wars story, and I'm completely floored. This movie seriously holds up. I was on the edge of my seat and had so much fun watching it. Interviewing the stars of the film tomorrow. Cannot wait. Wow. Just come out of Solo a Star Wars Story and can confirm it's kinda a blast. Donald Glover was as perfect as expected, but Alden has swagger to match and spare. Solo is fine. It's slow to find its footing, but picks up in the second act, and it's definitely fun. Has the occasional prequel problem answering questions I didn't need answers to, but also some fun references. Overall, I liked it. Didn't love it. It has a light tone and some great action sequences. There were great moments, but some were a bit too on the nose for me. The Chewie Han bromance is the thing to watch for. Solo was a blast. The Kasdans nail the character of Han Solo. Yes, the story is a series of expected events, Han meets Chewie, etc., but none of them happen as expected. Stay away from spoilers. Big Marvel level stuff that will make you wonder where Lucasfilm is headed next. So while these are obviously the critics that were sent out by Disney to see the premiere early, I can't really trust them full as fan critiques. So until the movie comes out, we won't really know for sure. As for what I think about it, well, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be a really fun film. And the fact that Ray Park, who played Darth Maul, was at the premiere kind of makes me believe that my theory about Darth Maul being in the film might be true. I guess only time will tell. So, are you excited for the film? If you are, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember... The Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill.